30 years, 10,950 days. That's how long an Indianapolis mom has waited for answers about her son's fate. This week, she finally got that answer. Our Emily Longnecker spoke exclusively with her about reaching this long awaited closure. Emily. I'm here at you, Indy, because this is the place where those answers were just waiting to be found. This is a place where 10,000 bones and bone fragments have sat on a shelf for close to 30 years. Police found them in 1996 on a Westfield farm, and those remains belong to the victims of suspected serial killer Herb Baumeister. At a time when most of the world uses cell phones, Sharon Livingston has always held on to her landline and the phone number with it. Street went seven, two, four, eight. Sharon never said why, but her daughter always knew the answer. I knew what she was doing. She was hoping that Alan was gonna call one day and it just, just didn't happen. Alan was Sharon's son who disappeared in August, 1993, when he was 27 years old. For years, Sharon not only held onto her landline in case Alan called, she held onto the hope he was alive. I was hoping that, you know, he was just somewhere with a friend and would come home. Letting go of that hope was never easy. That first year after Alan disappeared, Sharon still wanted him in the family picture. That's her oldest son, David, holding a picture of his younger brother. That was the only way we could get Alan in the picture at that time because we didn't know where he was. Then in 1996, when police found the decomposed and charred remains of at least two dozen men, victims of suspected serial killer Herb Baumeister, Sharon wondered if Allen was among them. Last year, Sharon's nephew called the Hamilton County Coroner to see if they could get the answer. He started it without my knowing. And then he told me, and it's like, yeah, I'll keep going forward because sooner or later, maybe we will get some answers. And it, it worked. This week, the answers came when Sharon's phone rang. The DNA sample she gave in December matched remains stored at UIndy. I do now have some closure because, I, I, you know, he's been found. It's just ironic that Alan's the reason why the case got reopened. Right. And then he's the first identified. Yep. 30 years Th later. 30 years later. 30 years waiting for the phone to ring, hoping her son would be on the other end, putting her mother's heart at ease. Instead, it was a call that brought a different kind of peace, the kind that comes with having answers, even if they're not the kind you want. I'm a little more at peace, but not completely until I get my son. In Indianapolis, I just want my son. Emily Longnecker, 13 News.